and my final thoughts on the 32GN63T-B 1440p 32 inch monitor I believe it's a really good deal. If you don't mind going in the OS and D and setting the settings the way you like it it's then it's a really good deal if you don't mind doing that or maybe you like the presets. It definitely wasn't uh, my cup of tea the way they had it set up. The black stabilizer was all wrong on those presets in my opinion. A lot of the shadows were over darkened and now it's, everything's perfect the way I have it set up. Just took a little bit of time just to get in there and figure it out. But for 32 inches for $219 and the response time is just phenomenal. And somebody else asked me if they believed that the motion blur people were complaining about is due to the fact that they they don't have it on 165 hertz, and I believe that's true. I believe they are probably using a HDMI cable, an underrated one, and they're stuck at 120 hertz. And running a monitor at 120 hertz when it can do 165 in gaming will cause motion blur issues and some ghosting. But for me, I didn't notice any of that. It was more just the coloring and the shadows and the, and the black stabilizer. But that's all sorted now. And I can't tell the difference in the response time. At 165 on this non-IPS panel, I have a 1080p 240Hz IPS panel. And the IPS does slow that panel down somewhat. So the response time between this one and that one, I can't tell the difference at all. And that panel is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. It's just the SkyTech 27-inch 1080p 240Hz monitor IPS. G-Sync and that monitor is great too but this monitor for the price was I can definitely match it in the response time and the gameplay and this is a bigger screen so that's about all I have to say for now about this monitor I would definitely say to grab one you just can't go wrong with that price just go in there and dial it in the way you like it maybe you like the presets but yeah it's definitely a good deal on their website LG's website on a 32GN63T-B you have downloadable software and what this will do basically it's called on-screen software and you would click on it and you can change all your settings through the software instead of going into the panel, panel manually. For those who want to set up like a split screen it would be a lot easier just to download this software and you can click on the split screen options and set the split screens up however you want.